Well, it looks like uh, you know, if you graduate uh, four starters and four really good players, that it speaks highly of the, the, the program and the players that are coming in behind them, you know, number one. Uh, number two, I think the league is strong. I think the returning players in the league and some of the transfers that have come in, the league is, uh, has become stronger. And I know um, Concordia is, uh, has everybody back. They've got a couple of GLIAC, they got one GLIAC transfer, so they're going to be, it's going to be a strong, it's going to be a very competitive league. You know, the players have been very receptive to what we're doing. You know, it's just, there's some changes, obviously, in uh, personnel and in, and in coaching and in the philosophy a little bit, but they've been very receptive. They've worked hard. Uh, they're trying to do the things that we're asking of them, and we're trying to keep things as similar as we can to not disrupt the cart. But, uh, you know, all in all, the energy's been good. The attitude's been good, and I think we're excited to, to get started and see where we're at with games. We had a chance to, you know, to practice for about five days before we scrimmage it. Not a lot of time, but it was enough to get a gauge of where we're at um, in the scrimmages. And then now we've taken what we learned from there, and we've kind of moved on and, um, and 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 worked on the things that we need to work on and build on the things that need building. Um, I think we're at a pretty good point uh, at this point in time in the season, and I think we're, you know, we're we got another week and a half before we go to Saginaw and that'll be a great test. I know then uh, we start right into our games. So we're excited to keep measuring ourselves and keep working and keep getting better. Well, I don't know how much it means in terms of what our success level is going to be this year. It's nice to know that we have a good team. A lot of people think a lot of good things about our team. We've got a lot of returning guys. We've got a lot of guys that transferred or came in as freshmen that can play right away. Um, we have the ability to have a really good team. And it's fun to walk in the gym every day knowing that every time we take the floor of the 30 games we have, that we have a chance to win every game. So that's an exciting thing for us as we move forward. Uh, preparation's been really good. Our practice have been great. Prior to that, our conditioning, our weightlifting, all that stuff was tremendous. We got a great group of guys that are working extremely hard. Um, you know, it's a, it's a work in progress. Every week, you kind of try to put new things in, whether it be offense or defense or zones or man or baseline out of bounds plays. We've kind of got a calendar of events we want to cover before we get to that Grand Valley game, and then some more things we want to get to before we get to the New Mexico exhibition on the first. And things are going really well. We're right on schedule. Most of our guys are getting healthy again. We've only had three full days of practice with our entire team out there. It's been the last three days, and everybody seems to be full go now. And this is kind of an exciting time for us now as we get ready to, uh, to put this thing into action. Well, you know, I played for Coach Alford in, in college. It was a great experience for me. I think that's what we're here to do is to give these kids the ultimate college experience, both academically, athletically, personally, all those things. And Coach uh, Alford has been so gracious to allow us to come out there on the first. We're going to spend two or three days out there. Uh, it's going to be an experience for our kids, not only basketball-wise, getting to play in the pit, one of the greatest arenas in the country and playing at 14, 15,000 people, but also just to see that part of the country. A lot of my kids on my team and probably a lot of teams in this part of the world play NAI basketball or small college basketball, they just don't get those opportunities. And for our school uh, to allow us to go and for New Mexico to help us out to come out there uh, and play, it's just a great opportunity. Uh, I don't expect anything other than to, us to go out there and really compete. You know, a lot of people think that, you know, it's tough playing a Division One school. We love to challenge ourselves every day in practice. And we look forward to going out there and kind of seeing how we can match up with those teams and it'll give us a good read on what we need to work on for the rest of the season.